It's a boat. Gallywag. It's a nice big boat, isn't it? Little big boat. Little big boat. <laughs> it's not a chinny. <laughs> right, we're going to stay the night on this, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. so lovely people that we met in Osprey, mate. We've been really good friends with those guys. And um, Jean-Michel and Kat. And um, they have this boat and they're south of Perth. And so they've offered for us to stay the night and then go out sailing tomorrow, which is really cool. Looking forward to it. Yeah. That'd be sick. <laughs> yeah. So we'll show you something a bit different today. Yeah. <laughs> Afternoon. Had a bit of trouble getting the boat in. Um, should have gone in on one side, couldn't do it because it wasn't deep enough, so I had, had to put it in on the other side, therefore it was hitting up against the jetty. Um, and yeah, that was really stressful, which meant they also couldn't, we also couldn't load our stuff on. Um, so we've inflated the kayak, loaded it with all of our food and clothes and stuff for the night. Um, well, most of it anyway. Um, and Daniel's paddled that down. Ari and I walking down with our backpacks uh, to meet them at the beach. And Daniel will hopefully kayak in, grab us, we'll kayak back to the boat. And then it'll be smooth sailing from there, hopefully. Sorry, I just realised you can't see me because of the sun in the background. Um, I'm trying to get there so that we can do some uh, sunset watching and uh, footage and stuff, but may or may not happen. So we'll see how we go, see how quickly we can get to the boat. morning from Scallywag um, boat. So this is us on the boat. Where is Aria? Aria, where are you? There she is. <laughs> Alright, so we stayed the night um, on the boat. There's two beds. So Aria had a bed to herself at one end at the front and we had the other one at the back. And uh, yeah, it was a bit rocky. I didn't cope too well with the rocking. Didn't get sick, but didn't cope, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, um, a little comfy, cozy boat. And the weather is perfect this morning. Um, for a sail, John Michelle and Kat are just arriving. By a paddleboard to hit the water. Shall we fun? How's it going? How is it? Good. Good. Um, I'm mostly pulling the GPS. Yeah. What are you doing? 
I'm using the DPS on the phone to go to Good. my destination. I don't cry when it rains no more Or I get dirt on my shoes Still fits like a glove And tell the band to play one more slow song Cause you still have all my love That's us done. Unfortunately. Yeah, back on dry land. <laughs> um, so we've we left from. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had it in my heart. Port Kennedy, um, and then sailed into Penguin Island and Seal Island. We stopped there, had some lunch, had a look at the seals, and then we went out and around. Had to go outside the reef, which was a little iffy with the swell today um, for the type of boat that we were on. Um, and then we sailed back in for a bit and then we motored in to Peron, possibly boat ramp near, I'll have to double check that. Um, but yeah, it was a great day on the water, really happy. Hello from Hey, we're at uh, King Road, Kings Road Brewery, and uh, we're here with about half of Perth, I think, on Saturday. For lunch, uh, it is way bigger than we expected and very busy. Uh, and while reports everything is going to be great, though, so looking forward to it. How's the cider? Cider is interesting and a bit different. It's a bit sour, like a Granny Smith apple cider, uh, but it's not beery either. It's quite crisp and fresh. I like it. We've got lunch menu, pizza, uh, stone wood fired pizza. Uh, there's a massive playground and big grass area, outdoor eateries plus inside eateries. There's and they allow you to do parties with like gazebos that you set up and everything. That's all happening here on a Saturday. There's all sorts of parties with decorations and yeah, it's a really cool vibe too. So yeah, I can't wait for lunch. <laughs> My cutie pie. <laughs> it's 
Say good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> Say good morning. <laughs> actually <laughs> we are back on the road again we uh, we spent a few days in Mandra area camped up with some friends uh, that we met um, on their property and we just sort of went out and did breakfast and um, some lunch and stuff not really anything exciting uh, a couple of breakfasts a couple of uh, lunches a bit of a view along the waterfront of Mandra and things like that because uh, the weather was not the best. Um, anyway, so we've hit the road south. The weather is absolutely stunning today and we have stopped in at the Crooked Carrot. It was recommended to us uh, last time we were here. We didn't quite make it. Uh, major we stopped in today. We've hit up the pies and the sausage rolls. Um, cheese and bacon sausage roll is like amazing. Dan's going to go and get another one to take away with us. <laughs> um, and the playground here is epic. So Ari is having a massive play before we um, drive for like 45 minutes. <laughs> Um, so I think we drove for about half an hour and uh, it's near Bunbury um, so I think we drove half an hour and then we'll just, I think we've got another 45 minutes to where we're off to today. Didn't take you long. This is the best bushetter I've ever had. Oh, wow. Ever. Wow. It is so fresh and... The bread is like epic and garlic is beautiful. The bruschetta mix, the feta on there. Oh, I nailed it. <laughs> and I don't actually like tomatoes, and I just had a piece, and I liked it as well. So it really tells you something. They're really, everything's really fresh, which is what they pride themselves on here at the um, cooked carrot. Cooked carrot, fresh, uh, which is why we did want to try something with fresh. Good choice. Good choice. Anyway. We'll show you the next spot when we get there. Hey, the crooked carrot we went for lunch. Um, review, excellent, really good. Uh, a little bit weird and when you walk in, you go through a little shop uh, and it seems like you maybe should like line up to get a table number. Um, that's not the case. Just go outside, pick a table, then come back in and order with the table number and you'll be right. Uh, food was absolutely excellent, uh, fresh, delicious, children's play areas were epic, like the kids could spend easily 2-3 hours there without a problem. Um, and also it was massive, it was massive the playground, really massive. Was it good there? Mm-hmm. Really, really liked it, oh the pricing was reasonable too, it was like $13.50 for bruschetta. And it was like that massive plate that we showed you. Uh, the Snitty was like $21, so yeah, good. Reasonable pricing, I think. Put it on the list.
found your pers perfect uh, paddleboarding spot, Amanda. I just yeah. can't get blown by the wind anywhere that you have to see. No, I can't go out to sea. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Uh, Stockton Lake, Collie. Just east of Collie, yep. It's an interesting spot. The pictures promised so much blue lake and forest. We thought we were going to get a little slice of New Zealand. Uh, we didn't quite get that. It's like you drive past a motocross club and <laughs> it's like a coal train line on the other side. But it is a nice, very nice, at the moment it's peaceful during the week. Uh, a little blue lake, some trees. It's pretty good. We've got water views from the caravan, look. Yeah. Caravan. Lake. Water views, yeah. Water views. I'd say probably just don't come here on the weekend because I think the motocross club would be very, very annoying. And I think it would be jam-packed here too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Weekday. Weekday is peace and quiet. Yeah. Excellent. But that blue is really nice. I really like that blue. Yeah. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. You're something beautiful. Electric and cold. You take my breath away. Feel my emotions push and pull Shooting stars in your eyes You're bringing me to life Love how you say my name You make it feel like summertime When you reach out your hand I find myself again Electric wonderland No, I just can't get enough You feel like my How's your morning views? Epic. I'm just making a coffee now. I'll go sit outside with the ducks. Yeah, looking at it, making a coffee with those views, huh? Yeah. Not bad, is it? Pretty off grid. Bloody amazing. <laughs> off grid, making a coffee <laughs> with those views. <laughs> What do you reckon of this spot, Amanda? Pretty bloody good. I actually don't know why. I haven't really heard about it. 
Yeah. Well, like, it's not that far from Perth. I know it's not coastal, but like, it's epic. I really like it. <laughs> we, we definitely didn't rate it when we first drove in. We didn't, seeing like a motocross track on one side of it and then a train line on the other and like, and like some scrub and stuff. I was like, eh. but then now like, yeah, definitely rate it. And you can even have fires here, campfires, which hasn't been allowed anywhere since we've left Exmouth. Yeah. It's like a daily, like judgment. But yeah. Yeah, at least, they, at least they assess each day that you can have them, not just a blanket rule. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I think we found a uh, gem. hidden gem. Yeah. And our spot that we got. I reckon it was the best. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. So like that's the caravan. We looked out at the blue water this morning and then swimming yesterday in this little protected little cove. And like the fire by the water as well, not back yeah. here. And yeah. The duckies everywhere. Yeah, little ducklings. Yeah. Ugh, what a spot. <laughs> We have taken a drive to the other side of Collie to Black Diamond Lake uh, for lunch. Uh, there's no camping at this one, it's just a day use area. It's really big it's compared to the other to Stockton Lake where we are. Um, so, yeah, lots of different spots you can park right around the lake. So, I'll show you this the truck, and you can see the lake behind me there. Dan's jumped in for a swim with Aria. <laughs> Gonna have some lunch, chicken and kale slaw, <laughs> as we do on our picnics, and uh, enjoy the sunshine. This one is famous for the mural uh, painted along the dam wall. Um, massive, massive parking area. But top hint, hint for you, hot tip, top hint, whichever way you want to read it, listen to it. Um, park in the overflow. It's closer. <laughs> um, but anyway, see if I can see it. They've closed the bridge apparently, so we'll see what I can see. Hey. awesome to see in person. Gosh, there's some talented people in the world. Now, you could even come to the, follow the signs to the quarry and that would bring you out a, to a car park that's pretty close as well. Um, back up the stairs I go. Doing? Making dinner. How? By um, putting it in the camp oven. Mm -hmm. um, put, 
put all the foil around the potatoes and sweet potatoes and then the corn on top. Yeah, he's put and then he's put some coals in there too, hasn't he? Yeah. To yeah. heat it up. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? It's the professional way. The professional way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why have you got tears on your eyes? <laughs> Why? Tell them. <laughs> she just fell off her chair. <laughs> Wasn't a bad fall. <laughs> She's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. What's in the air fryer? Pork belly bites. From Aldi. Yeah. They're smoky barbecue flavoured pork belly bites. Have a look at them. Come over. Mm, yummy, yummy, they yummy. They smell great. They do smell good. Hopefully it won't take long. Put them in 180 degrees in the air fryer for 15 more minutes. And then we'll put some barbecue sauce on them from the sachet and hopefully they're great. And outside we've got like the veggie switch I've shown. Yeah, cool. Alrighty, that's us down here at Stockton Lake. Look at it turning it on again. Makes it so hard to leave. <laughs> Uh, we ended up staying two nights instead of the one that we originally planned because like well it's been, it was absolutely perfect weather and it looks so good so why not um so it is no bookings um 11 dollars per adult over six kids is six to 12 is like or six to 15 or something is like five dollars a night um there's toilets here just drop toilets and there's rubbish bins dog friendly um there's a main area where the toilets and bins are then there's a first area where we are, um, which is nearby, close enough to walk to the toilets if you need them. Um, and then there's two areas further around as well. So make sure you go and check it all out and have a look. Um, there are rubbish bins over at the other one, um, but no toilets. So if you do need toilets, make sure you are close enough to those. Um, yeah, you can apparently jet ski and boat and all sorts of stuff in the lake here um, as well. So it's really recreational here. Campfires are permitted on certain days. I think we already told you that. Um, yeah, get the rest of the details and you can